Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Of course, uh, double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. I'm the brother Amafla, and this is another edition of Great Millstone Overtime. All right. Great Millstone Plain Table Camp Overtime. All right. Um, the theme I have been on is about wisdom and such, so uh, I'm going to continue on. All right. Um, so. This is going to be uh, from a book of Ecclesiasticus or a book of Sirach, chapter 1. Um, and uh, it will be verse, I'll start at verse uh, 4. And it reads, Wisdom hath been created before all things, and the understanding of prudence from everlasting. The word of the, of the Most High, Yahweh, uh, it reads, uh, sorry, I'm going to read it again. The word of God, our power, most high is the foundation of wisdom, all right? Which wisdom we, we establish it on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Which Yahweh Shai, of course, uh, came, of course, to us being the elect, all right? And of course, opened up some seals in order for, of course, for us to receive the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to receive the understanding of the scriptures to supplement with us, all right? It goes on and it says, and her ways are everlasting commandments, all right? Which, uh, you know, of course, you, you receive uh, wisdom following law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which that goes on to, uh, of course, uh, you know, the beginning of wisdom is uh, the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, um, To whom hath the root of wisdom been revealed, or who hath known her wise counsels? And it uh, goes on and it reads, uh, it says, unto whom hath the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest, and who hath understand, understood her great experience? And it reads, there is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. All right, which, you know, we have the, the rest of the world, they don't actually fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The two thirds, they don't fear the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They say in their folly and stuff, they don't, they want to walk around all pride, proud and all of that, you know? Which is, is nothing but wickedness, you know? Like, who, who wants to stay in their own ways knowing, of course, that this world is going to be destroyed? And, you know, the, the ones that, of course, are going to be destroyed are those that don't want to hearken onto, our, to, onto the truth, what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai says, all right? Um, this is Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 and 6. It reads, Folly is set in great dignity in the rich sit in low place, all right? You know, which, of course, we being the rich, all right, having this truth, you know, we sitting in a low place because, look, everybody look upon us, you know? Look upon, uh, you know, the, 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 the elect of Yahshua Allah, you know, the Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? You know, the Negroes, Latino, the Americans, you know, uh, us at Great Millstone, they look down upon us, you know? They look at us like, oh, we're just nothing but bums, but we got this truth. All right, folly is set in, in great dignity. And, you know, folly is, of course, uh, nothing but foolishness. All right, that's what it is. Uh, when you go into that word, uh, folly, I'm going to go into it real quick. So, like, in one moment. Yeah, you get the... Uh, this Hebrew word, what's that? Sakal, Sakal. All right. Yep, Sakal. And uh, that means, uh, let me get it, let me bring this up one second. It means uh, folly, all right? Uh, which, uh, that's foolishness, all right? Silliness, all right? So that's, that's what folly is, you know? And, and you know, trying to pursue of course uh you know careers in this world um you know pursuing anything outside of wisdom of the scriptures is is, 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 is nothing but folly all right you know um now going back to uh the, the wisdom of, uh, ecclesiasticus uh back to uh ecclesiasticus one and uh and i'm gonna uh i'm gonna go and i'm gonna start at uh verse 12 the fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and giveth joy and gladness in a long life. All right. 
you know, because that fear is going to bring, of course, reverence onto your Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, onto our power. And that's going to bring forth, of course, spiritual gifts, which uh, is going to, you know, trickle down. Obviously, you know, we here in this world, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai blesses us with the things that we do need, us being servants of Him, all right? You know? So, um, you know, I might give uh, one more precept, slide here. This is, uh, this is, uh, about the word of Yahweh Shai, all right, because that, of course, that wisdom is coming from him, and it is, it's something that's precious, all right. This is uh, Psalm 12 and 6, the words of the Lord, all right, the hot, a bar, the barium, all right, the word, all right, of the Lord, Yahweh, are pure words, all right, you know, so they are pure words, you know, you know, this wisdom that you get, you know, when you read these scriptures is pure, all right, as Silver is tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times. All right, it reads on, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord Yahweh, th thou shalt preserve them for this generation forever. All right, so we're supposed to preserve, you know, this wisdom, preserve this word, you know, and endure until the end. All right, you know, because this, this wisdom is going to be our stability of the times that's ahead in Jacob's trouble. All right, you know, that's what's going to keep us stable. All right, so with that, I'm going to say, call halal, yahabashim, yahushai, and shalawan.